Uh, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out. Check out ColumbusFunnyBone.com coming up this weekend. Uh, D. Ray Davis. You can see the whole line of great comics nationally touring headliners coming right here to Columbus. Check it out. And with that out of the way, are you ready for your final contestant this evening? Give a warm welcome for the very funny Tyler Brunetti. Great to see all of you. So many people. Very big night. Uh, so I decided to wear a backwards hat. Because I thought, like, at the very beginning, it would be really nice to get all of you to lower your expectations for me as a person. Because now it's like, it's okay if I don't make you laugh, as long as I don't roofie anybody. Jump way over that. To me, like, this backwards hat, it's like the opposite of wearing glasses. Like, you see somebody with glasses, you're like, oh, they're a nice person. They probably, like, read books. Uh, you see somebody with a backwards hat, you're like, oh, they get jealous and beat up people who read books. It's the exact opposite. I don't know. Guys, it's a, it's a rough time of year for me. Um, I'm actually allergic to grass. Yeah, that crap that's everywhere, Earth's hair, it kills me. It feels like Mother Nature put a choke collar on me and then is very irresponsibly ignoring my safe word. Like, it, is, it is painful out here. Uh, I had to go to the doctor to get diagnosed with this. Immediately he was like, well, it looks like you're childhood intolerant. Uh, uh, just stay inside, you're genetically a nerd. Collect stamps or something, you freak. <laughs> I had to get a doctor's note to not mow the grass. I basically brought home a prescription for disappointing my dad. <laughs> yeah. I remember driving home one day and seeing my mom cutting the lawn. And she gave me that look that could only say, you big sissy. I have no son. I have three daughters and you're two of them. <laughs> and as a result, though, like, I'm a very pale person. Like, in the winter, I'll grab a piece of printer paper and I'll compare and compete and lose. <laughs> It's not fun. I'm Italian. My name's Tyler Brunetti, and I look like Casper the Ghost lived to the age of 24. I look like Casper Brunetti, the ghostly Guido. And I guess I would just haunt people who claim to be Italian but don't have the forearm hair to back it up. I think that's my... I think that's what I own up to. I don't know. I'm basically just telling you guys I'm, I'm a cracker a whole bunch of times. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. Whatever. That was weird. Uh, yeah, but, which isn't a bad word. I found out the other day because I went up to, to my friend and I was like, Dude, somebody called me the C word. And he was like, Oh, you mean that word that rhymes with bunt? I was like, No. They called me cracker. And he was like, Cause, Really? Because everybody thinks you're a cunt. And I was like, Oh. <laughs> Dad, are you still angry about the grass? <laughs> uh, I just want to, I, I got to say something real quick. Uh, it's kind of surprising that Donald Trump is going to be our presidential nominee. I find that amazing because he seems like the kind of guy who if he walked into Cracker Barrel and saw black people, he would sue them for false advertising. <laughs> Alright guys, that's been my time. I'm Tyler Grenade. Thank you guys so much.